well, I want to start with this. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> so the good news, the good news is if you purchased in March and sold in June, you made out like a bandit. It's true. The, the bad news is if you're GM, huh? So looking at the stock chart, uh, the stock goes downhill just like their trucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. really good. Never let it be said you would pass by a cheap shot, Patrick. That's good. That, we're not even that was ten minutes in. I actually admire it. We're done. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got more. I heard that. Hey, Paul, they're uh, moving their headquarters, uh, the Mile High City, so they can give test rides. Of course, all downhill. So what a uh, <laughs> wild ride! What a wild ride it has been for the last three weeks. Um, so as reported on um, this show three weeks ago, GM purchased or partnered with uh, Nicola and um, Mary Barra said that they did appropriate diligence. They evaluated everything. Everything was buttoned up. It was a done deal. It was a, like a huge win-win. GM was looking forward to this. And just a couple days later, of all things, a, um, a short selling firm named Hindenburg is coming at a hydrogen truck manufacturer. If that oh, doesn't scream irony, <laughs> nothing does. Yeah. And, and just like Patrick alluded to, one of the things that Hindenburg um, came out and made public in a very long and very detailed report is that um, their semi truck never actually ran. And the promotional video that they put out, they literally had the truck towed to the top of a hill, got it rolling down the hill, and then used camera tricks to make it look as though the truck was moving under its own propulsion. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's, it's assumed it was under its own propulsion because no one in their right mind would simply push a truck down a hill. <laughs> but they never said it was, which right. Nicola, they implied it heavily. <laughs> right. Yes. And, and they came out and said it was in motion. It was in motion. And, uh, and, <laughs> oh my God. No. So, so their stock market did, um, it went down what, like 40% one day, another 26% um, another day. Ugh. And, I, you know, oddly, GM is still standing by their partnership because I don't know. Do you got nothing else? I got a, I got a copy of Mary's notes right here. So uh, GM gets free shares. They get a paying customer. They get paid design work. And if they make it to market, they get to sell the trucks too. Yeah, we had a free customer list <laughs> of people yeah. that were interested. Based yeah. on that stock chart, it looks like everyone gets free shares. <laughs> <laughs> they have them on the toilet paper dispenser in the back. I was going to say, they're, they're printing them on a roll, on a perforated roll. Yeah. Um, so, the, the, so that is what has happened in the last three weeks, except Patrick... What else has happened just in the last few days? Oh, yeah. So uh, latest in this saga is that Trevor Milton has voluntarily stepped down uh, from the chairman of the board role, which he'd already given up the president and CEO role. Uh, and so now he's officially out of the company. And uh, they have asked him if he's going to tweet anything related to the company that they have their lawyers review at first. So he deleted his Twitter account. He deleted his account, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's one way to make sure you don't put your foot in your mouth. Uh, and they're <laughs> under investigation by both the Department of Justice and the SEC, is my understanding. Yeah. Yep. So we'll see if there's a, yet another shoe to drop in this saga. Yep. See if so there's a, me, truth, a toothless jaw me, that's going to gnaw on there. To me, the whole, the whole Milton thing is, you know, he's like, I'm stepping aside, but I'm still going to be your biggest fan. I'm going to be on the sidelines rooting you on. Well, he okay, better because he still has a big chunk of stock in the company. Right. But if, okay, if, if they and he, if, if no one did anything wrong, you don't cheer from the sidelines. You stay there and you, you know, even if you're taking the brunt of it. Well, he you, wanted you to get his I mean? stack off of it. 
uh, was his, his, what he says. But why, just, why does he even have that? And that's the part well, I don't fully Yeah, understand. and he'd even tweeted things like, uh, leaders uh, stay and fight, cowards run. And, and then he ran. <laughs> 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 well, that, that tweet didn't age well. No, yeah, you thought it, you thought it meant I'm going to stay and be a leader. But no, he was right. just that's warning you. I'm about to run. Well, there he goes, there he goes <laughs> implying to us and us accepting stuff at face value again. He implied right. that leaders, it's totally our fault. He's going to stay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure that the rest of the board said, "Either you resign, or we're going to throw you under the truck, big time." <laughs> we'll push it down the hill. No, no. It might take a while. Bring the truck to get going. up the hill, <laughs> then throw you under the truck. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't want to leave, but he he was read the riot act and he had to leave. Someone yeah. had to had to take the fall. Yes. So yeah. the only upside, if you will, coming out of Nicola right now is it was the semi truck that, that never ran under its own propulsion. And then them saying, well, GM didn't buy us with a semi truck and we're actually not pursuing the semi truck. We're doing the Badger, which is the pickup truck. And that's what GM is interested in. But after all of this, what do you think the odds are that the Badger is ever going to see the light of day? Well, See, the Badger is a little easier because it was already just a drawing and GM has brought trucks to market before and it already fit in with the GM design language. So if they started with the EV, it was likely, if they started with the fuel cell, I mean, GM has never done a commercial fuel cell at, at like for public scale, uh, which is what they had committed to on the semi-truck. So right. Th huh. this, still, this still has a potential if, if they don't, if the tank doesn't get onto GM as well. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because they weren't depending on Nikola for anything for the engineering or technology. They so were going to white, 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 uh, white label, white box it, and then stick stamp the Nikola logo on it, and roll it out the door. Right. So it's, a, it's going to be effectively a GM project with Nikola or Nikola badging. Like now, the rest of the rest of Nikola's business, that's the part that, um, I mean, we've talked about how uh, hydrogen in, in a lot of ways is a unicorn. And uh, some of the promises that Trevor Milton was making for their price of hydrogen and for hydrogen filling stations were significantly cheaper than anything that anybody else has ever done before. And yet they are buying off the shelf parts and assembling them. So I don't see how they could have kept or made those promises. So I'm still very skeptical about the rest of their business. They were going to make it up in volume. Right. I mean, yes. let's, let's be clear, though. There's a lot of CEOs selling a lot of products, making a lot of claims that don't exactly come to fruition. But they, they, they generally have a better first. track record. I'm not one. defending yeah. fraud. Yeah. What I'm saying is <laughs> that, sounds like. No, not at all. Not at all. I'm, I'm not a big fan of fraud at all. And frankly, I'm glad that Trevor Milton's out of this universe because it's a better universe. The, the, the green car universe is better without him. Um, but uh, I don't think that invalidates everything that they talked about. I don't know. I don't know what's legitimate behind what they said and what isn't. You know, what do they have no engineers? Have they done no work at all in, in building this stuff? You know, because he promised a hydrogen uh, a vertically integrated hydrogen delivery system. But that's different when you still have a company that's delivering great products and making promises versus a company that has no revenue other than some solar panels that they sold to Trevor Milton for his house. And, oh, that was my favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's the only revenue that the company has had. And other than that, all they have is promises and drawings. No argument. No argument with that.